So now I'm going to show you with epinephrine. If you don't have an auto ejector, which is injects the epinephrine for an anaphylaxis reaction, then and you feel comfortable, know your information about epinephrine. It is a one milligram per mil vial here. It's a very potent medication when it comes to medical emergencies. If you have, for example, an allergy, then you're going to want to draw it up very carefully. And the amount that is given to the patient will depend on how you are administering it. Now, right here, we have an insulin syringe. If you filled it all up, it would be one mil, which is one milligram of epinephrine. One milligram of epinephrine is when you're doing CPR and you have to give that through the IV. Not in this case. In this case, it's an allergic reaction. And the amount is going to be important on how you give it. If you're giving it subcutaneously under the skin, okay, then it's going to be 0.3. It makes sense because you have to give more. It's going to ball up and it's going to be slowly released. If you're giving it in the muscle, like you can do it into the submental muscle, right here, right into the, the submental muscle here, uh, or you can do it into the deltoid muscle, all right? Or you can do it in the lateral thigh muscle. Then it will be... 0.2 okay now if you have an IV and the patient has an IV in then your medication is going to be obviously you got direct access to the patient's bloodstream and circulation through the IV so you're not going to be able to give too much it's going to affect them very quickly and so you'll have to give them less and it will be a 0.1 dose and this is all for an adult, 70 kilogram, adult, healthy, otherwise healthy male or female.